Hello everyone, my name's Sally with So Sally Paper Crafts, and today we're going to be making a um, version of this Christmas card using the Feelings of Christmas stamp set. Y'all excuse my voice, a little bit raspy. Um, my allergies are acting out really bad. Anyway, we're going to be making a version of this card. We're going to be using the same stamp set, but we're going to be using this paper. Okay, now this one here is just, it's just cut on a piece of... Um, Whisper White, I stamped it um, a little bit of the background. Let me show you the stamp set. The little stamped at this background right here and a little bit of Old Olive. Then I stamped this wreath right here in um, the archival black ink and then just colored in. It's got little um, Christmas ornaments and berries and stuff. And then I used this stamp set and went around the corners. And then this little one right there, I just put a little red and then just sponge the edge on it and just mounted it. It's just a real simple card to a piece of um, real red cardstock and did the inside. Okay. Well, like I said, today we're going to be making this using this stamp set where we're going to be using this paper. And this paper is the Merry Little Christmas Designer Series paper and it is beautiful. Look at this. It's, it's, it's mostly. Um, white and green the old olive and the basic black but it has got some beautiful papers in it there's snowflakes there's dots there's leaves there's stripes there's plaids yeah, some more stripes we've got some um christmas trees there's some more leaves snowflakes you know this is absolutely gorgeous now up until the 31st they've got a sale on the designers to repair. You buy a three and you get one free. So you guys need to get in on that. Okay, I know this is a little bit late. Okay, so today we're gonna to be using this stamp set. We're gonna be using this stamp, this stamp, this stamp, and that stamp. This is the wreath, this is the background, this is just little dots. Um this is a gold wink Costello pen that I just happen to have, and unfortunately. Um, my granddaughters took it off with my markers for stamping up. So what we're going to be using, these are just Tombow markers that I have. We're going to be using a blue and a red. We're going to be using um, the very vanilla cardstock. This is a card base. This is cut at four and a quarter by 11. It's scored at five and a half. A piece of the old olive inside. This is cut at, cut at five and a half by four. And then I'll let another layering piece for the inside, three and a quarter by five. On the outside, we've got a little piece of layering mat. This one is cut at um, four by five and a quarter. This is the pair of the designer's period paper in the, red, the green and black plaid. This one is cut at three and a quarters by five. And then we've got a piece of white, uh, uh, very vanilla that we're gonna stamp on and cut off. We're also going to be using the Layering Circles Framelit dies, okay? And we're going to be using the largest of the two dies, the scallop dies and the circle dies, okay? So let's get started. First thing we're going to do is we're going to stamp our background, okay? And we're going to be using Old Olive ink. And let me get a scrap piece of paper here there it is because we're going to stamp off okay we're not going to do this full string and you just kind of ink your ink pad up okay we're going to stamp off stamp down see just a little bit lighter then we're going to get let me get this out of the way before I mess everything up um where is my other there it is okay then we're going to get the wreath one that has got the bow and everything on it and it's going to look kind of funny i'll tell you that right now but okay now this one's got a different ink pad so this one when i've got a detail like this i just kind of rub it around and see it picks it up really well and then rub it around just real lightly don't put any pressure on it and rub it around the other way and then just stamp down let it sit for a second and pull up 
And like I told you, this is going to be kind of quirky. Um, you're not going to be able to see it real good, but you'll be able to see it. Okay. Then we're going to take our... This is the red. This is just a color of red. And we're going to color in our bow here. And I don't do real good at coloring. It's okay. Let me move this around this way. The Stampin' Right markers work much better. But, like I said, my granddaughter. My great-granddaughter took off with them, so we're going to have to use what i got. But if you've got them, you can also use just any markers that you've got. You could either, like, watercolor paint this one in. Okay, now i got a little smudge there, but that's not going to matter. Um, because what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to die cut this out anyway. Now, if you look in here real close, you're going to find these little Christmas ornaments. And what I'm going to do is just color them in in blue. Just make a round circle there. There's one that's kind of hidden in the leaves. And there's one right there. Okay. All right. Then we're going to take our... Um, this is a uh, real red ink, just very lightly. And what I did is just kind of went around and put in just a little bit of red in there. Okay. Now our sentiment, we're gonna go back to our, should have done this a while ago, our basic black. And I do the same thing with this one, cause it is kind of a, um, you know, make sure it's covered real well. See, it gets covered real well that way. Make sure I got it lined up right. Gonna put this, excuse my hand, right in the middle. Now that I'm gonna take, this is, you can take another ink, gold ink pen if you want to. And what I did is just kind of went around the top of these Christmas ornaments, just to kind of give them a little glow. And there's also some little bitty round areas you can paint them with yellow in here if you want to. I just put them in gold. Okay, using this, use a gold ink pen. Use anything that you've got that you want to use. Use your imagination. I mean, this is just a real simple little project, isn't it, you know? See anything else? And what I did is I let that dry and then I kind of went back over them again. And you can just dot it on um, anything else. And I do kind of like squirrel, you know, put a little bit of gold on this, come down, and stuff. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to take our circle die. We're going to take this to the big shot, and we're just going to cut that out, okay? I've also got another piece of old olive green that I had, and I just cut out the layering circle. This one's a scallop that goes underneath of it in that okay now i've already cut this out just to save time instead of having to bring the big shot over and this is what it looks like okay now this one is not as pretty as that one as a matter of fact i may go cut that out and layer this on let's just cut this one out let's use this one okay all right y'all hold on i'll be right back because it's across the room okay there it is all right, like I said, there's our circle die. We cut it out. You got you wait. You get lose a little bit of it, but there it is. Now, what we can also do just to make this just a little bit prettier, okay? Let's get one of our sponge divers, okay? And let's just go around the edge of this, just to kind of take off some of that white or vanilla color. Just go around the edge of this a little bit, give it a little bit of color, make it stand out a little bit better, and let's go around our, this is just, you know, old olive on old olive, it, what a deal, it'll just make it a little bit darker, kind of like, stand it out a little bit. Okay. 
no big deal. Just get it in there, okay. All right, now we're ready to put this thing together. Real easy card. Let's get our Tombow glue out here. All right, and let's put a little bit of this down. And let's just kinda get that in here. Am I still in with you guys? Okay. Now then, let's glue this in here. Let's glue this down. Let's get it where it's not everywhere. glue this one down. That's the back side of it. It's kind of pretty too, isn't it? Make sure you get the corners. Alright, let's get this in here. Let's get it even. Cut that very good, did I? That's okay. All right, well now then, let's get some dimensionals, and I'm just about out of dimensionals. I got an order in, so we're gonna use what we got left. Use them all up. Let me just put one right there. Pop these off. Now, I think we're gonna put this one just like this. Now, you know, you gotta do is just put that down in there. Let's take this and let's stamp up. Um, let's go ahead and stamp the inside of this one too. Let's move this one out of the way. Let's put this right here and. We'll just use all the stamps. Okay, just to give this a little bit of, you know, something to do. There we go. Take that off. Let me have to clean my stamps off. And let's get our black back out. And make sure I got this one on straight. I'm not sure how this one goes, so I'm going to have to, oh, the other way. There we go. This one says, may continue to last throughout the year. And we're just going to pop that right there. Oh, got that a little crooked, didn't I? Oh, well. You know, you'll do a better job instead of being in such a hurry. I know this is going to be long, and I'm sorry. Okay. Now then. Let's put this down on this. And we're going to put this on the inside. No, it would be pretty is that gold sequence trim underneath there and some ribbon and I don't have any. So, you know, I make kind of like mailer friendly cards, okay? This one we, you know, we'll go through, it won't be too bad. But there it is. Now, you know, you can always go back to here. This is a clear Wink of Stella. And let's put a little glitzy on this. You can do that. Just be careful because this will pick up your colors. You know. You can put it and maybe you know, go through here and put a little bit on the leaves if you want to. Just to give it a little bit of shimmer. Oh. 
Like I said, just be careful because it will pick up ink. Let's clean that off. And there you go. There is our filling a Christmas card. Like I said, you'll do a better job. This one's a little bit off. I'm just in a hurry. And, you know, and make sure. I make my own envelopes because I think it's kind of fun too. But, um, decorate your envelopes too. Let's get this one out. You know, let's, let's put a little bit of Christmas on here too. See? Easy decorate your envelopes up. Let me get this one. We'll just won't even have to re-ink this one. Well, maybe we'll do this a little bit. And there you go. There is your two cards. Get these out of the way so you can see them. Two different cards. Two different ways. The filling of Christmas stamp set. Beautiful stamp set. Makes beautiful things. Nice, easy. Have a good time with it enjoy it y'all have a good day and thank you for watching and don't forget if you like the video please kick hit the like button subscribe to my future videos i do apologize i've been off for a while um but i'm, I'm getting back into it so and like i said y'all excuse my raspy voice because i'm my allergies are just acting that horrible but there you go there's your feeling of christmas christmas card y'all have a wonderful day